This is ABC 7 News at noon. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us. Topping our news today at noon, the victim of an attempted murder suicide is out of the hospital. Jason Chase Fisher was reportedly released from the hospital after he suffered gunshot wounds to his hand and chest. Northport police say his wife, Holly Fisher, shot him and then turned the gun on herself. She was found dead at her home on Doblins Road early Saturday morning. Fisher was a social studies teacher at Heron Creek Middle School. Grief counselors are at the school today helping students and faculty who may be grieving. Her parents are also dealing with the sudden loss of their daughter by sharing their favorite moments and keeping her memory alive. She was a great teacher, bought kids school supplies where they didn't have enough money to get anything for themselves. Uh, she fostered dogs from the dog rescue. She just was absolutely amazing, creative, caring, giving, and loved by so many. The investigation is ongoing. We'll have much more on this story coming up in our evening newscast beginning at 5. A beauty pageant winner known for her love and adventure dies in a weekend car crash. The four car crash killing 20 year old Katarina Huffman on Friday night. It happened on University Parkway. Troopers say Huffman was heading east when for some reason she crossed over the median and into oncoming traffic. She was pronounced dead at the scene. Huffman was Miss Teen Charlotte County and most recently Miss Hollywood showbiz reporter. She's remembered by her friends as a fun person who loved acting and mermaids. She's also performed at local children's parties. Florida Highway Patrol wants to make sure everyone is up to speed when it comes to hit and run crashes. Troopers conducting a stay at the scene awareness campaign this morning at its Bradenton station. The focus of this campaign is to reduce the number of hit and run crashes by educating drivers on their responsibilities if they're involved and the serious consequences of leaving a crash. When you get into a minor crash, everyone panics, everyone is scared, but the worst thing you can do is leave the scene because now you have turned what was simply a citation into a criminal event, and that is something that no one wants to see. Troopers say there were more than 1,500 hit and run crashes in Manatee County alone in 2016, and that included three fatal crashes. If you report a hit and run or in need to an, uh, an impaired or aggressive driver that you may see on the road, you can call the FHP at star 347. Well, if you don't like having to go through extensive screening at the airport, here's your opportunity to avoid most of it. Sarasota Bradenton International Airport is once again offering a TSA pre-check enrollment. ABC 7's Ray Collins is just back from the airport and joins us with the details, Ray. Scott, if you don't mind paying a few dollars, you can save time when you fly each time. All this week, the TSA is letting flyers sign up for a five-year program where they give information now and skip the lines later. It's not free, though. It costs $85 for five years or 17 bucks a year. But for some travelers we talk to, it's well worth that cost. Good. I get very upset going through uh, security. I have a disability from the United States military, and it just upsets me that I had to be searched. I have some medical conditions, plates and things like that, which I thought having this done and, and pre-qualify pre for this would save me quite a bit of time and uh, just make the whole traveling experience a little bit easier and more pleasant. You can sign up through Friday at the airport, 5 p.m. For more details, go to our website at mysuncoast.com. Scott? All right, thank you so much, Ray. Parents looking to enroll their children in a school outside of their district can start applying for that today. School choice enrollment kicking off in Sarasota County. Parents can pick up applications at any public school or on the district website. The deadline to submit them, Monday, March 20th. School assignments will be done through a random lottery process and parents will be notified about those assignments on May 1st. Open enrollment in Manatee County is already underway. Beautiful start to the week here on the Sun Coast. Uh, I was out shooting a Dream 18 segment this morning and it was uh, delightful out there. Yeah. I wanted to stay. I bet, yeah. <laughs> it, you know, the weather has really cooperated uh, since we got the cold front last week. We kind of had some pretty nice days over the weekend. A lot yeah. of that deep blue sky, yep. you know, and some low relative humidity, temperatures in the mid 70s and such. Um, we're going to change that a little bit. We're getting a little bit more moisture back into the forecast. Uh, clouding, it's a little more clouds around today than we saw over the weekend, that's for sure. And uh, we have a slight chance at maybe a little spotty drizzle or whatever. Um, nothing heavy. 
Um, that's all due to another front that's trying to work its way south across Florida. But it, this, this one's a weak one. It won't do a whole lot to us other than bring a little extra cloud cover our way. And the Sarasota Bay webcam shows some of that cloud cover moving through. Again, just a really slight chance that any of it will produce any drizzle or, or rainfall. Certainly no rainfall, but a little drizzle is what we might expect from some of those clouds. Uh, satellite view shows that front kind of working its way south in the line of clouds sinking south. Southward as well. Our daytime high today will be on the warmer side and a little bit more humid side coming in around 78 degrees. And then as we head into the evening hours, things will taper off once again. As the front sinks southward, it'll stall just to our south. We'll tell you what that'll do to our Valentine's Day forecast coming up in a few. Scott. All right, John, thank you. If you want to take part in the upcoming elections next month in Sarasota County, this is the last day to register. Elections include the City of Northport Special Primary, City of Sarasota Commission races, and the Town of Lombok Key General Election. Registration applications are available at all elections offices, public libraries, military recruitment offices, and public assistance offices. And the elections are set for Tuesday, March 14th. ABC 7 Business Commentator Richard Stern joins us now. Richard, a strong start to the new week on Wall Street so far. Scott, you're exactly right, and for those of you who can remember all the way back to last Friday, we closed with records across the board, so if we're up today, we've got more records, at least intraday. It wasn't very long ago, the Dow hit 20,000. Well, guess what? Intraday today, we saw 20,400 for the first time. That's a 2% increase since just when we did see 20,000, so the market keeps moving in the right direction. Let's take a look at the figures as they stand. The Dow is up by 126 points, more than six tenths of 1%, at 20,395 0.56, that on volume of 308 million shares. The NASDAQ, and of course, these are all records. The NASDAQ is 5,763.14, up more than 28 points, exactly one half of 1%, that on volume of 717 million shares. The S&P follows the crowd up almost one half of 1%, more than 10 points, at 2,326.73. Restaurant Brands International, a company you've probably never heard of, but guess what? You know the restaurants that they do own. How about Burger King? How about Tim Hortons? Those of you from Canada are certainly familiar with that. Well, they came out today with much better than expected earnings. They did just the right formula. Guess what? Their same store sales were up by over 2%, while their cost cutting reduced costs by a marvelous 16%. Hard to believe they can do that in one calendar quarter. Well, the stock is up by more than 2% today, and you would expect if they can continue this kind of trend, they'll do it very, very well. Their net profits got more than doubled in one calendar quarter. Again, same store sales being ahead is certainly part of it, but cost cutting to the tune of 16%. That, that, that'll get a stock going in the right direction pretty quickly. Yeah, absolutely. And I know a lot of people who would love to see Tim Hortons move down the, into this area. I think too. you're very yeah. correct. Yes, sir. Uh, you also have some news on Apple today. Well, guess what? Apple is intraday also at an all-time record high. It's over $133 a share as we speak. We'll see. Uh, I'll be with you come 5 o'clock. And we'll see if indeed we have a record close for Apple as well. Okay. We'll see you then. Thank you so much, Richard. You're welcome. Valentine's Day right around the corner. And finding the perfect gift can be challenging for some. But this map maybe can help you out. Google Trends putting together a map of the most searched Valentine gifts by state. Here in Florida, it's Pandora Jewelry and Barry White songs. In other states like Michigan, it's ballroom dancing. In Montana, it's lobster tails and heart-shaped sunglasses in California. Poetry by Lord Byron tops the list in Alabama. And then in Delaware, just a gift card will do. To see this map in its entirety, you can go to our website, mysuncoast.com, and just click on to links. We mentioned it's pretty interesting. Speaking of Valentine's Day, we want to see how you're preparing for the holiday, from the planning to the ultimate surprise. You can share your stories and your pictures on our Facebook page. Just send us a message, and we promise not to give away your secrets. And the best ideas will appear on our Good Morning Sunco show tomorrow morning. Time now to get over to the kitchen and check in for the first time with ABC7 uh, Culinary Director Judy Gallagher and see what is cooking today. Judy? Well, today I have a really easy solution for a pasta dish. We can make it two ways. We can make it vegan style by just using a little bit of the oil 
and some cut butternut squash. I get it already cut over at Yoder's Produce Market and some caramelized leeks. That in itself with some mushrooms is gonna be fantastic because I stopped by Pepperonata Pasta and picked up their super pasta. It's um, the linguine style and this is made with whole wheat flour, flax seeds, millet. So it really is a super, you know, super pasta give you those extra grains, extra strength. So that in itself is one dish. But we're going to also bring it together with prosciutto for another dish. So stay with me throughout the hour. I'm bringing you some delicious vegan super pasta and we'll add a little meat and cream for the other side of the table. Check out mysuncoast.com slash dining, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed. Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Join us for Sarasota Opera's 2017 Winter Festival, opening February 11th. Featuring Puccini's most famous opera, Madame Butterfly, Rossini's delightful comedy, The Italian Girl in Algiers, Poulenc's heartbreaking dialogues of the Carmelites, and the medieval thriller, The Love of Three Kings by Italo Montemezzi. Tickets are on sale now. Call 941-328-1300 or visit sarasotaopera.org. Come out to the best party of the season, the Goodwill Mardi Gras Gala on February 28th at Michael's on Eat. Tickets at experiencegoodwill.org. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Oh, kind of a warm day on the sun coast today. Uh, looking at 76 degrees, the current air temperature probably have a few more degrees to go before we start to shut off the heating with a little extra cloud cover around. 64 degree dew point, making it feel a little more humid than we've seen over the weekend. West wind coming in at 13, one of the reasons responsible for that increase in our dew points. Uh, you know, we're going to have a, a fair amount of cloud cover around today, and we even have the potential of some of these clouds producing maybe a spot of drizzle. That's about it. The, uh, the forecast over the next 24 hours all hinges on a frontal boundary and exactly what it does over the next 12 hours or so. 74 degrees in Bradenton, Lakewood Ranch, 76 in Mayaca City, Wachula, Arcadia, Parish coming in at 75, so's Northport. 77 degrees in Punta Gorda. We've got 70 degrees in Inglewood, 72 in Venice, and then a little bit cooler with that west onshore wind, Longbow Key at 76, even though water temperatures have come up just a little bit. Everything is quiet across the area in terms of any kind of rainfall, but we have had a few splashes over on the other coast. Highlands County saw a brief little bit of rainfall. There's a little bit of rainfall over out in the Atlantic, the near shore Atlantic waters, and also we've had occasionally a few pops of a little bit of drizzle falling from some of the clouds 
out in the Gulf. A lot of that not even reaching the ground, though. So it's not a big weather event, this frontal boundary, by any stretch of the imagination. Across the country, we've got, of course, some more storminess back in Texas. Go all the way back toward the Four Corners, an area of low pressure there, which we'll have to watch. That one could uh, eventually be a pretty good snowstorm for the Northeast. Right now, an area of low pressure spinning off the... Uh, uh, off the U.S. coast heading up toward Nova Scotia. This one could also produce some fairly decent snowfall totals as we head into the afternoon with uh, parts of Maine and also upstate New York getting some lake effect snows. Plus, it's a very windy, blustery day through a lot of New York State. A little bit of a uh, break in the weather for California. That's good news, but won't last long. There's a system offshore that'll move onshore that could produce, by the end of the week, another four to six inches of rainfall for that uh, beleaguered dam. Now, we're looking at uh, the cloud cover kind of stretching across Florida Peninsula just off our coastline out in Gulf waters sinking south. That is all part of this frontal boundary, which is continuing to sink south. Now, as it does so, here's what's going to happen today and tomorrow. That front sinking south is going to stall out just to our south, and then some very moist, humid air is going to lift up over that. That front stalling south is going to act as kind of a ramp that will allow that air to gently lift and rise and produce a fair amount of cloud cover, I think, compared to what we saw over the weekend with our beautiful blue skies. We'll see that cloud cover kind of lingering, I think, through tomorrow, perhaps, and bring us a sun cloud mix. Maybe an isolated sprinkle during the hot part of the afternoon today, and maybe again tomorrow as well. But I think both today and tomorrow will feature some pretty quiet evening hours, maybe a little bit of overnight fog as well. So the forecast is shaping up like this for boaters today. North wind shifting to the east at about 10 knots, bringing a light chop and two foot seas. Pretty nice day for boating. And then the extended range forecast looks pretty good. We'll have a um, daytime high today of about 78, a little bit cooler tomorrow, a little bit more sunshine tomorrow. Certainly a pleasant evening. And then the best chance of rain this week will be Wednesday and Saturday. Scott? All right, John, thank you so much. In health news today, a popular cheese product is being recalled. Sargento Foods is pulling its specialty cheese from store shelves due to a listeria risk. The recalled products include ultra-thin sliced nacho and taco cheese, uh, chef blends, cheddar jack, Colby jack, and sliced pepper jack cheese. The sell-by dates are April 12th to May 10th and June 14th and July 12th of 2017. So far, though, no illnesses have been reported. We've all heard the saying, happy wife, happy life. Well, not only can that be true, but it can also help you live longer as well. Recent research by the Cleveland Clinic shows couples between the ages of 50 and 94 with happy spouses also had better health. Some reasons are healthy, happy spouses are more likely to provide social support and get their partners involved in regular exercise, healthy eating, and sleeping habits. But it's actually not the marriage that should get all the credit. Doctors say anyone, whether they're married or not, are likely to pick up on the habits of those they spend the most time with and are closest to. The associations, if you have friends who are happy, if you have friends who have happy marriages, you're much more likely to have a happy marriage. You're much more likely to have friends who do the same activity. Experts say the key to staying happy and healthy is finding someone who helps you manage your stress and surround yourself with people who are doing healthy things. Still to come in your Suncoast News, a massive evacuation is underway in Northern California after a hole is discovered in the country's tallest dam. The damage from it is getting worse. First, details on a must-see event if you're in the market for a new home. It's uh, right here on the Suncoast. We'll have all the details when we come back. On your TV. On your computer. On your camera. On your smartphone on your Apple Watch. And now you can get ABC7, your Suncoast News on Fire TV. Just go to mysuncoast.com and click on the mobile tab for a list of fast and free downloads that deliver ABC7, your Suncoast News on the go. ABC7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you weeknights at 5. As your agent, I care about what you care about. So I will take the time to help you through the process to find your dream home. Customer service is just another way to say, I care about my customers. When you are buying or selling a home, you deserve special attention. 
because it's a big decision. You should not feel rushed. I'm Jackie Evinia, aging with SWC Properties. I'm here to help you. Estoy aquí para ayudarles. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. In town, on the town, the Mark offers landmark living in the center of everything you love about Sarasota. Priced from the 700s, spacious residences and elevated club level amenities create a private oasis in the sky. Promenade shopping and dining put the best of downtown downstairs. Sales gallery open daily at the corner of Pineapple and State Street just south of Maine. The Mark Sarasota, presented by Coulter. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Whether you're planning to buy a new home or maybe just in need of some ideas, beginning this week is an event that will help you with both. It's called the Parade of Homes. And joining us to talk more about this event, the CEO of the Manatee Sarasota Building Industry Association, John Mass. John, thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Our pleasure. Well, this is always a popular event, I know, and potential home buyers are going to have a lot of choices this year. I understand you have more than 100 model homes to look at. That's correct. This year we have 129 model homes and six developments. That's with 195 total entries. Oh, that's awesome. And now, will people be able to see homes in, in all sites, sorts of uh, price ranges here? Yes. Home prices are ranging from $172,000 to a million and a half dollars. So we, we, we got quite the gamut there. Yes, you do. And, and it's all across the area, right? Yeah, this is a multi-location, so it's going to be, it's North Manatee, so Parish, Palmetto, the islands, all the way down to uh, Northport. So all of Manatee and Sarasota County are included. And, and, and also the dates, uh, this goes on for, for quite a while, so people don't have to completely rush out to do this. Correct, but correct. This runs from February 18th to March the 5th, and ParadeHomeInfo.com is our webpage. It will go live on the 18th, which is this coming Saturday, and it will run the entire year. So it's not like they have to rush out to see everything in two weeks, but they, they can, can see this over the year. Right. And, and, and John, it would appear that the home building industry right now is, is very healthy. Would you agree with that? I would agree with that. And, right and, now it's healthy. And tell me why. What, what is going so well for, for, for home builders right now? Well, the demand, there's a pent up demand from the recession. So there's not enough developed land to build homes. So when a builder builds a home, it's selling pretty much right away. And, and new homes are, are really, um, you know, for folks who maybe are moving down, and then there are others who want to move up, I guess. W would that be accurate to say that those are potential buyers that would come to this event? Correct. There's, a, I, I believe the statistic is a thousand people a day. I don't know if that's correct coming to the state of Florida, but there are a lot of people moving here because they love the beautiful weather that John Scalzi talks about all the time here on, the, on yep. ABC7. So they want to be here. You know, we're a mid-sized market. Manatee, Sarasota is a mid-sized market. We compete directly with the large markets for those people moving into Florida. And John, real quickly, what are some of the trends that are happening now in new homes? Well, the trends are happening at uh, bigger, brighter kitchens, more eaten areas, uh, great rooms, uh, bigger and nicer master bathrooms, and outdoor living space seems to be the trend. Well, you can see it all, as we said, beginning uh, this week. There's all the information starting Feb February 18th, and it goes through Sunday, March 2nd, uh, on the weekends, multiple locations across both Manatee and Sarasota counties, and the price is right, too. It's all free to go out there and look at these beautiful new homes. John Mass, thank you so much for being with us, and, and best of luck with the upcoming event. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure. Let's get back to the kitchen now and see how lunch is coming along with Chef Judy, who's making super vegan pasta today for us. So look at this. We have the caramelized links, 
We've browned up some cubed butternut squash. Beautiful with a little olive oil. Now we're gonna add the mushrooms. The thing to remember about roasted or sauteed mushrooms, you salt them at the end because the salt naturally draws out the moisture and it will get too soupy on you. So I have shiitake stems removed because those stems just stay woody and they don't calm down. I have about two minced shallots in here. I'm gonna put some more olive oil and we'll do the black pepper and we're gonna wait for a bit until we are going to add in some salt. Now you can definitely use some vegetable stock in this or you can use something like a coconut milk or an almond milk if you need a little more moisture in it. So that's just gonna set and keep tossing around and it is gonna just bring out like this burst of great flavor. Let's go over to the pan over here. I have some beautiful prosciutto di parma that I picked up at Piccolo's Italian Market. Crisp it in a pan, no oil needed because it has the fat. Once it gets really crisp, cool it down and then just chop it up a little bit. That part's ready to go. So for this part, this is the non-vegan dish. We're gonna take two pats of butter, Unsalted is fine because the prosciutto itself has a lot of salt in it. So that's gonna be great, just like that. Now let's go back and do the mushrooms, just like we did on the other side. We have button mushrooms. We have the shiitake mushrooms without the stems. And we have the baby portobello mushrooms. And that's gonna all go in and get sauteed together. And the same thing, black pepper, no salt till the end. Remember, cheese has salt too, so we're gonna let this saute for a little bit. Let's go back over to the vegan pasta. So this is like dueling pans. Here we have that beautiful super pasta. We're gonna toss that into the pan. We have some shallots going. It's gonna be so good, just like this. I mean, this is a really nice dish if you wanna do a meatless supper. But if you want to get the other way and be able to serve it for people that just love a little prosciutto and cream and things like that, you're going to get it because we're going to finish that pasta next time we come back. Florida's last private island is a waterfront lifestyle like no other. This is Harbor Isle, just five minutes from the sugar sand beaches of Anna Maria Island. This sun-splashed paradise invites you to enjoy natural adventures and all the recreation of a tropical resort. Island coach homes and waterfront condos are now available from the high 400s. Don't miss the Luxury by the Bay event, Saturday, January 21st from noon till 4 p.m. at Harbor Isle. Water ski show, luxury cars, wine tasting, model home tours, and more. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or heaven forbid replacement? Call Air Now today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. An important message for Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you receiving all the benefits available to you? Now's the time to find the coverage that's right for you at the right price. The way to do that is to explore your options. You can spend hours doing that yourself, or you can call Health Markets and let us do the legwork for you. Let us find you the right plan at the right price and see if you qualify to lower your prescription costs. Put our free service to work for you at no charge. Call 1-800-738-1923. Contemporary Cabinetry and Closet Concepts. Our strength is in building a relationship with our clients. Locally owned and operated for over 30 years. When you organize your home, you simplify your life. Call today for a free in-home consultation or visit the web at ContemporaryCabinetrySRQ.com.
Luxury for less at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sports Utility for $249 per month or a 2017 MKZ for $299 per month. We are proud to introduce the newest addition to the Lincoln lineup, the all-new 2017 Lincoln Continental. We have a great selection and ready for immediate delivery. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury, winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award, serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We're located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. Live from our studios on Florida's Sun Coast, this is ABC 7 News at noon. Your Sun Coast News. We're here for you. Welcome back. Developing right now overseas, an avalanche claims the lives of several people in the French Alps. It happened today near a ski resort. Four people were killed and five others have been rescued. The avalanche happening in an area that's popular with international skiers for its extensive slopes and its stunning views. Closer to home, the nation's tallest dam is threatening to flood communities in Northern California. An evacuation order given yesterday for nearly 200,000 people. ABC's Janae Norman has more. It's a race against time in Northern California as water gushes from the Oroville Dam, the tallest in the country, now in danger of failing. And I'm scared because I've never been in anything like this before. The dam holds water from Lake Oroville, now sitting at record levels. Last week, millions of gallons of water poured from the dam each second, creating a massive 300-foot wide hole. This is a big deal. We're very concerned that uh, we manage this properly to protect the public down below. Over the weekend, officials were forced to use the emergency spillway, the first time in the dam's 50-year history. Then they discovered another problem, a second hole prompting evacuations. Oh, I came down um, from Lakeside and I was surprised about all the traffic and my neighborhood was already basically empty and I panicked and just started putting things in my car. Nearly 200,000 people forced to leave their homes, stuck in bumper to bumper traffic. Emergency crews working around the clock to minimize the threat. And although officials say the lake levels have fallen, they're not in the clear just yet. There are still a lot of unknowns. We need to continue to lower the lake level. The National Guard has been called in and officials say this is an all hands on deck situation and they don't have much time as more rain is on the way. Janae Norman, ABC News, New York. A frantic search continues for a small plane that failed to show up at its destination along Florida's Gulf Coast. The U.S. Coast Guard searching for the single engine plane that was reported missing a little after five o'clock Sunday. Three people were on board. The plane was last spotted on radar about seven miles south of Cedar Key. It took off from Brooksville. Florida Fish and Wildlife and Fire Rescue crews are also helping in the search. No flight plan was filed before it took off. Meanwhile, search is underway for an Alaskan fishing boat that went missing with six people on board. A distress signal was last detected in the Bering Sea about two miles off St. George Island. Its electronic locating device was recovered Saturday among a debris field which contained buoys, a life ring, and an oil sheen. There were no signs of the crew. In other news, while we're experiencing some pretty nice weather here on the Sun Coast, it's a very different story to our north. A winter storm closed hundreds of schools today in the northeast. More than a foot of snow dropped in some places. Snow was heavier than expected, and it did cause some power outages. Black ice turning major roads into slip and slides. Drivers there say if you don't have to be out anywhere, well, it's just best to stay inside. No, Very totally used to it. It's just terrible out. There's ice underneath all the snow, so it's really bad. You don't have to be on the roads. Don't be on them. More than 6,000 flights have also been delayed. 1,300 more are canceled so far. Hmm. What a mess. I mean, they yeah. had a couple in a row up there yeah. in the Northeast. Have you ever driven with uh, ice underneath the snow? No, never That's want to. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> There's no such thing as traction. Yeah, it just goes away. It does. I bet a lot of those thousand people coming to Florida are, are part, of the, That's right. part of the people that have been through that snowstorm, the couple of snowstorms they've had. And there's probably another one on the way, you know, down right. the road. I think there's one developing uh, on the lee side of the Rockies that could eventually give them problems a little right. bit later on down the road. So it doesn't end. Came Still a little winter. bit late this year, but it, uh, it, it, it doesn't end. Lakewood Ranch webcam put into motion shows the cloud cover that we're going to be dealing with here for the next day or two. And it's also got a little bit of sunshine in between those clouds, and that's kind of how it's going to work over the next several days. You can see that line of clouds slowly sinking south. 
That's our cold front, and it's gradually going to sink far enough south that uh, around the Fort Myers area, it will pull up its brakes and just uh, cease to move south and be there as kind of a, 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 a little bit of a destabilizer in our weather for the next 24 hours or so, till finally something comes along and just whisks everything clean, and that will occur on Wednesday with a good chance of rain. We'll talk all about that in just a few minutes, Scott. All right, John, thank you. President Trump kicking off another busy week at the White House. Today, he's hosting Canada's Prime Minister. The visit comes as the administration awaits action on its controversial travel ban. ABC's Kenneth Moten has more from Washington. The President and the Prime Minister. President Trump's first face-to-face -face meeting with Canadian PM Justin Trudeau. On the agenda, the advancement of women entrepreneurs and business leaders. But immigration could also come up. The weekend, the president's travel ban kept immigrants from seven predominantly Muslim countries out of the U.S. The popular Canadian leader tweeted, To those fleeing persecution, terror, and war, Canadians will welcome you, regardless of your faith. Diversity is our strength. Hashtag, welcome to Canada. Trump signaled this week there could be a new executive order to sidestep the legal challenges of his first. We also, we also talk about the unfortunate part is it takes time statutorily. One of the White House advisors responsible for the policy, Stephen Miller, was on ABC's This Week. A district judge in Seattle cannot force the President of the United States to change our laws and our Constitution because of their own personal views. Trump says there are national security concerns, but right now he's dealing with a national security issue of North Korea. The country launched a medium-range ballistic missile into the Sea of Japan as the Japanese Prime Minister sat down for dinner with President Trump in South Florida. I just want everybody to understand and fully know that the United States of America stands behind Japan, its great ally, 100 percent. Thank you. And the president's national security advisor, Michael Flynn, is also still under fire for contradictory statements made about phone calls with Russia's top diplomat in December. Did sanctions imposed by President Obama come up? Democrats on Capitol Hill are demanding an investigation. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Washington. The Department of Education has some explaining to do on social media after it misspelled the name of a civil rights icon. On Sunday, the department tweeting a quote from W.E.B. Du Bois, it, but spelled his last name with a D-E instead of a D-U. The NAACP responded by tweeting another quote and pointed out the correct spelling of Du Bois' name. The department spelling the name correctly in an apology, reading in part, quote, our deepest apologies for the earlier typo. Another major retailer is joining the list of not selling Trump merchandise. Sears and Kmart have stopped selling Trump home furnishing products online. 31 home items were removed online, but products from the line are still available uh, at third-party marketplace vendors. The retailer's parent company says they're looking to focus on its most profitable offerings. The decision to drop the line follows last week's move by Nordstrom's to continue sales of Ivanka Trump's fashion brands. Other retailers like Marshalls and TJ Maxx are also no longer featuring the brands. The country's largest wireless provider is getting even more customer friendly. Starting today, Verizon will begin offering unlimited data to its customers. People can keep their current plan or opt for an $80 monthly plan for a single line with unlimited data, talk and text. Families can pay $45 per line for up to four lines. The new option comes amid growing competition as T-Mobile and Sprint have gained ground on Verizon and the number two provider, AT&T, with their unlimited plans. Back to the kitchen now and see how lunch is coming along with culinary director Judy Gallagher. Judy. Okay, over here is what we have, the meat lover's pan. We've got that crispy prosciutto di parma. Oh, gosh, this is going to be so good. We've sauteed the mushrooms slightly in some unsalted butter. Now comes the cream. And then after the cream, of course, we're going to add the grated Parmesan cheese. Now there's some really great nut cheeses that you can use for your other, for your vegan dish if you want. I mean nowadays there's so many great recipes and great places out there that you can find ingredients if you want to stay vegan or you're eating in a paleo diet and things like that. We're going to reduce this cream down with the butter and the Parmesan to about half. Now you'll notice the prosciutto is going to stay crispy even with the mushrooms because I've, I've really gotten it to that point where it's going to be fine. We're going to add some chives 
Now we're ready to salt both dishes. Here's the vegan with a butternut squash, and then we'll get some salt over there. A little touch up over here on some black pepper, as well as here. This dish is done, so we can shut the temperature off of there. Now, as this sauce starts to cook down is when we can toss in the pasta, okay? So we'll just make a little space, and we can use the same superfood pasta. It doesn't make a difference. That's what makes it so easy. When I'm entertaining, I, first question I ask everybody if, when, before they come to my house for dinner, do you have any food allergies or do you have anything that you don't like? So it's something like this, it's really easy to almost make it a pasta bar, make a nice anti-pasta salad maybe, or just a field green with lots of different farm fresh vegetables. I can use zucchini noodles, things like that. And everybody can have exactly what they want to fit their dietary needs. And depending on the day is what my dietary needs are. So some more Parmesan on top. We'll give this about two minutes to simmer down and then look over here with just a teeny bit more olive oil and some vegetable broth. We've really brought some great flavor with roasted squash. You could use acorn squash, so many more different things. But the leeks and the mushrooms together, beautiful. Salt at the end so those mushrooms didn't get too watery. And when I come back, we're going to have the dueling pasta to show. I'll be back in just a few minutes. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you, weeknights at 5. So many possibilities. For a limited time, Minnesota Flooring is offering you unbelievable pricing on tile and laminate. Porcelain tile, only $1.59. Ceramic tile, 99 cents. And 16 by 16 tile, $1.19. Laminate flooring is only 99 cents, but these prices won't last. Don't miss out on these great deals. Hurry into Minnesota Flooring today. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School, serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. If you want to rediscover the smooth, radiant skin of your past, consider a facelift, eyelid lift, or laser resurfacing from Faces by Feza. Restore your natural, youthful appearance and the confidence that goes with it when you trust your face to the expert hands of Dr. John Feza. Using a delicate touch, he gives you natural-looking contours, a clean jawline, and long-lasting results. Call today to schedule a private consultation, because when you look good, you feel good. Faces by Feza at Center for Sight. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services. Com. This is the temperature map of the United States. I draw your attention to this cold air plummeting south out of Canada. 34 degrees in Billings, 42 in Denver, even freezing in Albuquerque. And this warm plume of air right next to it. In fact, over the weekend, we had a temperature reading of close to 100 degrees. Uh, February, right? In, uh, in uh, Oklahoma. That's pretty amazing. Uh, we have this warm, moist air lifting northward, the cold air sinking southward. And I, I draw your attention to that because I think the combination of that cold air sinking south and this little twist in the atmosphere that you begin to pick up here in our water vapor imagery, which is really good at showing you the swirls and motions in the atmosphere, will eventually develop into a storm system that's going to be big news over the course of the next six, seven days maybe. We also have another plume of moisture coming in, uh, riding on this Pacific or Pineapple Express, sometimes currently being called a river of air, uh, moving into California that's going to produce, uh, I think, some more heavy rainfall there, maybe up to six inches before the end of the week. So that, too, could end up 
playing a big part in the uh, Orville Dam uh, issues that they're having. 76 degrees, the current air temperature, dew point of 64, dew point rising, making it feel a little stickier, a little bit more cloud cover around our area. You got a few showers popping up now, here and there. More like drizzle than anything else over in Highlands County. Not much here locally, but are we do have, I put in a 10% rain chance today, as I, I think we might get a sprinkle or two. I shouldn't say rain, a sprinkle or two as we head into the afternoon. That'd be about it, though. Most of the state looking pretty quiet right now, and in fact, most of the nation doing pretty well, at least the southern half of the, the uh, eastern half of the nation. We do have some snow showers ongoing up in the New York, up through uh, parts of Maine today, and coastal areas of Boston getting some pretty good snowfall. And then back to the west, California getting a little bit of a break, and then the four corners moving into Texas, seeing more showers, part of that same system I was talking about. A line of clouds stretches all the way across the Gulf waters and moves into the coastal areas of St. Petersburg and Manatee County. That is part of this cold front. The cold front sinking southward is going to put on its brakes just south of us. It's going to stall, and that's going to help to um, uh, disturb the atmosphere enough that some gentle lift will be provided that will produce some cloud cover over the next day or two. It's going to be not the kind of cloud cover that will produce a lot of rainfall, but with a little bit of heating, a few of the clouds might be able to tap into enough moisture to produce a little bit of light drizzle. And that's it. And after the heating of the day, those clouds will not be able to rain. So we'll be able to watch, I think, both evenings tonight and tomorrow night. Very pleasant indeed. I know a lot of people have events planned for tomorrow night. Of course, the, uh, the big I do again ceremonies going on. Uh, you know, I think it's going to shape up to be a pretty nice evening for that. Sun cloud mix, isolated sprinkle, some overnight fog tomorrow morning. We might see some fog around. Had the potential of seeing some pretty good fog this morning. Didn't really pan out for our area. Did just a little to the north. Tomorrow, nice day. And then on Wednesday, breezy. Uh, we'll watch a cold front move through here that'll be a stronger one with good chance of rain. Also, again, on Saturday, good chance of rain. Back to you, Scott. All right, John, thank you. An Academy Award-winning actress is on the Sun Coast speaking on women's rights and reducing gender inequality. Gina Davis speaking at the Van Wazel Performing Arts Hall as part of the Ringling College Town Hall series. She's best known for her roles in Beetlejuice, Thelma and Louise, and A League of Their Own. Davis is speaking on behalf of her nonprofit, the Gina Davis Institute on Gender and Media. It focuses on the treatment of women and girls in Hollywood. I think it's important for people to realize that things have not changed yet. The ratio of male to female characters has been virtually the same since 1946. So all this time that we think, well, we're making progress, we're making progress, right? No, we haven't yet, but we will soon. Davis also presented with a portrait created by a Ringling student. Very nice. In celebration of Black History Month, we learn about the achievement of a few early Hollywood actresses. In 1940, Hattie McDaniel made history by becoming the first African American to win an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. She's also one of the first black women to be on radio. McDaniel got her first big break in 1934. She's best known for her role as Mammy in Gone with the Wind, which also won Best Picture that year. Actress and singer Dorothy Dandridge uh, making her mark by becoming the first African-American woman to receive an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. Dandridge received the honor for her role in 1954 musical Carmen, starring Harry Belafonte. Although Dandridge did not win, Halle Berry later redeemed that honor by becoming the first African-American woman to win an Academy Award for Best Actress in 1999 for her role portraying the late actress in the movie Introducing Dorothy Dandridge. When we come back, we'll wrap up lunch with Chef Judy and then Sunday night's Grammy Awards filled with some amazing performances and memorable moments. And it all came down to two superstars. Details next in entertainment news. You're going to need me. You're going to need us. All of us. You're going to need our help with your water. Your air. Your food. You're going to need our determination. Our compassion. You're going to need the next generation of leaders to face the challenges the future will bring. And we promise we'll be there when you need us. Today at 4 on Suncoast View. 
I'm Stephanie Roberts on Suncoast View last minute Valentine gift ideas. Dr. Jenny helps us keep things hot in the bedroom and Table Creekside gets romantic in the kitchen. Today at 4 on Suncoast View. ABC 7 News at 7 weeknights. On your TV. On your computer. On your camera. On your smartphone. On your Apple Watch. And now you can get ABC 7, your Suncoast News on Fire TV. Just go to mysuncoast.com and click on the mobile tab for a list of fast and free downloads that deliver ABC 7, your Suncoast News on the go. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. We just redid our kitchen and I want to make sure everything stays looking new. We have an entire cleaning department filled with great products for Veronica to use for every surface in her home. Ace is the place that goes beyond scratching the surface on cleaning. So you won't scratch your surfaces while cleaning. And you wipe it off. Don't miss these February Red Hot Buys on Wild Bird Food and Scott's Bonus S Weed and Feed. Six convenient Sarasota locations and now open in Bradenton, Northport, and soon Osprey. Flooring Depot has been serving Sarasota and Manatee counties for over 20 years with the best products and installation. Flooring Depot offers carpet, tile, hardwood, and more. Before you buy, give us a try. Stop by our showroom or visit us on the web at bestvaluecarpet.com. Florida's last private island is a waterfront lifestyle like no other. This is Harbor Island. Just five minutes from the sugar sand beaches of Anna Maria Island, this sun-splashed paradise invites you to enjoy natural adventures and all the recreation of a tropical resort. Island coach homes and waterfront condos are now available from the high 400s. Don't miss the Luxury by the Bay event, Saturday, January 21st from noon till 4 p.m. at Harbor Isle. Water ski show, luxury cars, wine tasting, model home tours, and more. Gold fever is at an all-time high in the Sunshine State with the new Gold Rush Doubler family of scratch-off games. Everyone is rushing to Florida to strike it doubly rich. With over $1 billion in total cash prices, the Florida Gold Rush is on. The Florida Lottery, just imagine. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. So there we have it, two different pasta dishes, all within a few minutes, great way to entertain. We started with pepperonata pasta, they're down at the farmer's market. They also have their own store in the Chili Shopping Plaza near Trader Joe's. So we did the vegan super pasta, all those great nutrients with millet and things like flax oil in there, and that's with the seared butternut squash, the variety of mushrooms, and of course we have some caramelized leeks, olive oil, shallots, boom, ready to go. And then over here is your meat lovers. It's that crispy prosciutto that you have with the wild mushrooms again, chives, some cream and parmesan reduced down. So we have two different styles, really easy. So no matter who you're having over for dinner, you've got it covered. So while I tuck into both pasta, I'm going to send it back to you. All right, Judy, thank you. Last night's Grammy Awards belonged to Adele, the singer winning five awards, including Record of the Year and Song of the Year. During her acceptance speech for Album of the Year, she spoke directly to Beyonce, who was up against her in the category. And I'm very humbled and I'm very grateful and gracious, but my artist of my life is Beyonce, and this album for me, the Lemonade album, was just... So monumental, Beyonce. It was so monumental. Beyonce, who led the nominations with nine, won just two Grammys last night, including Best Urban Contemporary Album. But she dominated the stage in a jaw dropping, flower filled performance, showing off her pregnant belly for the first time. Adele later returned to pay tribute to the late George Michael, but she stopped the show when her first stab at the song wasn't just right, but she did end it strong. Bruno Mars did Prince Justice in his tribute, and Demi Lovato, Tori Kelly, and Andre Day teamed up to honor the Bee Gees in a great number. Another important award show also taking place over the weekend, the NAACP Image Awards. The movie Hidden Figures and ABC sitcom Blackish were big winners. 
Anthony Anderson, who hosts the Image Awards, took home the trophy for Best Comedy Actor, and Tracy Ellis Ross was named Top Comedy Actress. Other winners included Denzel Washington for Best Actor in his film Fences. Finally, you might not think that Fashion Week and the Westminster Kennel Club have a lot in common, but both of them are in New York, and the dog show is kicking off this week. About 3,000 of the world's most expensive, well-groomed, and well-trained dogs are being showcased there. There was also a Meet the Breeds event where the dogs got to meet some feline friends, but, uh, or other friends, but uh, didn't, uh, no fighting occurred, we're told. Shows take place today and tomorrow. We will see. Uh -huh. I guess that was last year's winner. Wasn't yes. it the Beagle that the um, won last year, I not think? Not sure. Don't know. Yeah. So Beautiful animals. Oh, so fun to watch. They really are. Uh, one of my favorite movies, I think, is... Uh, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Gosh, I can't remember it now. About um, uh, the uh, circuit for um, Westminster. Best in show. Best in show, Best yes. in show, yeah. Funny, funny movie. Yes. We have across our region today a, a little bit of fair weather cloudiness, true, but we also have a few of the clouds that may produce a bit of drizzle. That may be true tomorrow, too, but I think we'll have a lot more sunshine tomorrow than anything else. And it, in any event, tomorrow evening, uh, uh, we're going to look at a beautiful, beautiful evening. A lot of love in the air. There you go. That's yeah. the air quality report. <laughs> have a great afternoon. We'll see you again at 5.